it's Jasmine here. Um, today I'm going to do a tutorial on paint tool sai and it's how to make fireworks. I was looking for a tutorial like this but I couldn't find one and so after a long time of experimenting I came up with something like this. So if you want to learn how to do this you can continue watching the video because that's what I'm going to do. Okay so first you want to start with like this, uh, these are from my previous fireworks. So Okay, now first you want to start with a layer, well a black background, then on a new layer from the black background I have um, another layer and we can call this layer, or I don't know, firework base. Okay, now this is where um, you're going to draw the center of where you want the firework to be. It's doesn't have to be a perfectly good circle but you want a small circle and then you want like a larger one around it these are just so that you know where to start all those rays coming from the center of your firework from and you're gonna lower the opacity just so you can see your firework okay so next you make an oops make a new layer set it on luminosity okay then um, you have to make the rays and I do this by using my brush tool so you want to make sure that your brush okay I have a lot of these um, texture thingies that you probably don't have however um, you're going to have a thing called spread it probably doesn't say spread one it just says spread you want to click spread and you want to change your min size to 30 percent your density to 100 now you're going to take the white and you you can select a good size. Um, it really depends on your canvas size. I have a uh, 4,000 by 300 by 3,000, so it's really big. So, but like you want them to be around this size. So like if your firework is this big, this is how big you want to be. Okay, next you're going to start making very small rays to the center of your circle. Then gradually start getting bigger and bigger. Then you're going to have something that looks sort of like this, hopefully. And once you have this, um, you can get rid of the firework base. Okay, this is, I call it, it's layer 5, I'm going to call it rays. Um, so, then you have this thingy. This is not enough rays though, so I would put it on a slightly smaller size. And you're going to continue, um, this is going the biggest my fireworks going to be, but it's not enough rays. So I'm going to continue adding rays. If they're on the outside, like from the top, or the outside part of the circle, they don't have to go all the way to the inside because if you go on Google Images, they just don't do that most of the time. Um, for me, it's easier to go from top to bottom because you want the uh, top, the outside part to be thicker and then the inside part to be really thin. So if you don't have pressure sensitivity, this probably won't work. And then it up and down and we'll do the same thing to the bottom now. Okay, so after you have this, you're going to, this is a really boring plain white firework, so you want to, one second, okay, you want to preserve opacity, it's right here under the mode and opacity, you want to preserve opacity, then you're going to choose the color of your firework, it's going to stay in the lines because you use preserve opacity. And so I'm going to, I don't want it to be that dark. Um, I don't know, maybe pink on the outside with orange. No, that's really dark. Um, with light orange on the inside. Actually, no, why don't I go with green? Okay, I'm gonna make a green firework <laughs> that fades to yellow or something.
Okay. Then, um, since I made my multiple colors, I can use the blur tool. I can find, oh, here it is. Okay. I can use the blur tool to blur the colors together. Make it nicer looking. Now, here's another optional step that I like to do with my fireworks. Like, if you look at, look at this one, the tips are very, very bright, like, compared to the center, the tips of all these rays, and I like to do that. So, I'm going to teach you how. So, you make a new layer on top of, like, my rays layer, and also put this one on luminosity and take the white. Take your brush, um, you don't need to change the settings on the brush. And I'm going to go outward and go in on every single ray. This is super tedious, but I like the effect it gives. Okay, so now you have white tips. These are very, very, very bright. If you look at my other one, they were not this bright and they were very nice looking. These ones are not as nice looking. Um, don't put the uh, whiteness on clipping group or it won't look as cool, in my opinion at least. And so after you have these white thingies, put them on preserve opacity too. Then you can take a bright color, like I think I used orange on the other one. Oh, there was one. And use like a whitish color to um, color it in with to give it the bright effect. I'm gonna try maybe. So you can do whatever you want. I actually kind of like this one. And then you can lower the opacity just a little bit. And so I have this. Now here's another optional thing to do. I like to add the center. Um, it's in some fireworks, not all of them. So on a new luminosity layer. Um, take the airbrush, put it on highest density possible, and make it like make it the size, whatever size you want. Then you can take the white and do that. Um, you have to do it on another layer too. Make another luminosity layer. Then do the same thing. If you want, you can preserve opacity and then make it a prettier color. That's really bright. But like, just by, oh god. Just by coloring it in with like the preserved opacity, and then you have it. Um, if you want, you can select it using the selection tool and resize it. Okay. The last final step is another luminosity layer. Then I take an airbrush of like the color of the firework, make it a little more vibrant. I'm going to put this luminosity on the, underneath the rays. So I have my rays layer over here. I'm gonna put this new one underneath. Then I'm going to take the airbrush, lower the density to around, I don't know, 40 or 50, and make the size as big as possible. And then you're going to make lines inward with various colors um, to make it look more like it's glowing and colorful. So I don't know why this firework reminds me of Okay, so if I had to get rid of the rays and that and that looks like that. Um. And so that's how I make a firework. Um, if you like this video, please comment any questions you have. Leave a like, subscribe for more tutorials such as this one. Thanks for watching. Thanks.